What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle. Now for today's video, I am coming to you with a tutorial on this look right here. However, it is using drugstore makeup products only. Now typically whenever I do makeup tutorials on my channel, you might notice that I do like to include products from whether it be drugstore, high-end, affordable, high-end, whatever it may be, I kind of bunch them together and create a look out of them. However, I really want to put more focus on being able to create beautiful makeup looks using a majority of drugstore makeup products because drugstore is and has been stepping up their game for a minute now and I just feel like it's not entirely necessary to go out and purchase all the high-end products when you can achieve the exact same look using drugstore makeup. So if that's the kind of thing that you guys are into, keep on watching. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it before you leave it. And if you're new, you know what to do, join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And with that being said, let's get into this drugstore makeup tutorial. Alright guys, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and begin by priming my skin. So for that, I'm going to be using the NYX Bear With Me Multitasking Spray. Since it is a multitasking spray, you can use it to both prime and set your face. However, I just like to use it to prime because it means I don't have to rub anything into my skin. Next up, I'm going to be going in with foundation. Today, I'm going to be using the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I actually have two different shades here because I feel like the one that I want to use might be a little bit too light and obviously this one Actually, maybe that will be my shade. I don't know 10.5 and 8.5. I don't know We're gonna have to kind of make our own little concoction and see how that goes but I am going to start off with 8.5 and We'll see how we go from there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this onto my face It's been a while since I've used this foundation and as I'm looking at it, yeah, maybe that's going to be a little bit too light for me. I'll just start off with that and then see. Oh, yeah, girl, that's going to be way too light. <laughs> Let me see if I can mix these two together. As I was saying, the reason why I opted for these two shades is because the shades in between that I could see on the shelf at the time were like a different undertone. And these were the only two that I could see that would somewhat like resemble my yellow undertone because I have a really like yellow yellow undertone to my skin. Sometimes I can get away with doing neutral toned foundations but for the most part I need something that's really warm and yellow in tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to apply both of those shades to my face and kind of create my own little custom shade. And I'm just using a large dense kabuki brush to blend and buff that into my skin. Alrighty, so it might not be perfect, but that is about as good as it's going to get today in terms of matching the colors together. It's so difficult sometimes, you guys, because when you're in between shades or like you just can't find the right color that matches you, having to mix colors together is not always the easiest, but we do what we can. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and brighten. So for that, I'm using the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. The shade that I have here is C. 6.5 it is fairly bright in color i've used these in the past but i feel like then i wasn't as like tanned as i am now not that i'm super tanned but i am a little bit darker than what i am typically around this time of the year because it is winter over here at the moment so i'm just going to go ahead and kind of blend and stipple and buff that into my skin i was thinking that i might have to use a different concealer today but this one works out Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking. I'm also just gonna go ahead and take that down the bridge of my nose, and up on my brows, and a teeny bit on my chin. And again, same thing, just blending and stippling and buffing that into the skin. And this is going to, of course, really brighten up and add a little more dimension into the face so it's not just all one flat color. I'm going to go ahead and quickly set all of that concealer in place and for that I'm using the Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. Now I know that for a lot of my US viewers Australis of course is an Aussie brand. Not 100% sure if you can purchase this from overseas but this is like the best translucent setting powder that I found 
on the drugstore market, which is why you guys always see me using it. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be going in with the L'Oreal True Match Powder. This one is in the shade Golden Beige W3. I'm just gonna take that on a large powder brush and just lightly dust that over all the other areas that need to be set in place. I'll finish off the rest of my face a little later, but next up, I'm going to be moving on to the eyes. Now I actually forgot that I probably should have already primed my lids. So I'm just gonna go in with a teeny little dot of that concealer, that same concealer that I used. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this into the lid area to make sure that I have a nice, smooth, even, flawless canvas to begin working with. So for this eyeshadow look today, I'm going to be using this palette from NYX. This is their Ultimate Shadows palette in Warm Neutrals. And as you can see, it's pretty much just a bunch of standard, as the name suggests, warm neutral eyeshadows, which I think is perfect. For anybody who wants just a standard go-to warm neutrals eyeshadow palette, I feel like this is a great one to go with because it is drugstore, which means it's super inexpensive, and it is actually NYX's best-selling eyeshadow palette. To start this look off today, I'm firstly going to be going in with this shade right here. It's like a matte nude shadow and I'm going to be taking that on my blending brush and running that through my crease and of course this is going to be my initial transitional crease shade. I always like to start with the crease shade first because I feel like it's easy to build off of that. So yes, running this back and forth through my crease, blending it and blowing it out as I go along. So I've got that shade laid down in the crease and next up I'm going to be going in with a slightly darker toned brown shade. This one right over here. And again, I'm going to run that through my crease pretty much in the same position, but I am not blending it out as far as I did with that first shade. So this is really just to add more depth depth and definition to the crease area, which is really going to help to define the eyes. Next up, I'm gonna take things a little darker and I'm going in with this shadow down the bottom here. Again, it's a darker chocolate brown, but it does have a shimmer throughout it. And this is going to go on the inner corner and outer corner of my eyes. So yes, I will be doing a somewhat of a halo eye today. So as you can see, I'm just applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and also the inner corners and blending it in towards the middle. But of course I am keeping the center of my lid blank for the time being because I will be going in with a different shimmering eyeshadow in that area. I'm just going back in and kind of blending through that top edge with the brush that I used to apply the first transitional crease shade. So I typically like to like lay my colors down and then kind of blend and play through with them as I go along. But next up, now I'm going to be taking this shade right above the shade that I just applied. As you can see, it's just a beautiful shimmery gold shadow. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the center lid space that is currently vacant. I'm just taking that product on a regular flat eyeshadow shading brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick spritz with some of the spray. And I do this just to help intensify that shadow and make it really pop. So now that I have that center lid shade on, I'm just going to go back in with the same brush that I used to apply the color on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. And I'm kind of just working at the edge between where those two shadows meet on the lids to blend everything together. Since they're both shimmering eyeshadows, doing this really adds a little extra dimension to the eyes. Onto my bottom lash line just quickly, I am pretty much gonna take those two shadows that I ran through the crease in the beginning and mirror that on my bottom lash line. So I'm firstly taking the lighter shadow and blending and smoking it out. And then I'm gonna take the darker matte shadow and again, run it along my lash line, but keep it a little closer to the lash line. So it kind of gives that more gradient effect between the two shadows. So those are the eyes done. And now moving back onto the face, I'm going to go ahead and bronze. Today I'll be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this over all the areas that I typically like to bronze and add some more color to. So like my cheeks, around my hairline, and then I'm also going to go ahead and use this as well 
to lightly contour my nose. Moving on to blush now, I'm gonna be using this one from Milani. This is their infamous Luminoso blush. I feel like this is definitely one of those go-to blushes that can go with many different makeup looks. It's like the perfect peachy toned blush and it does have somewhat of a shimmer throughout it so it gives your cheeks a really nice glow. Next up we have highlighter. So for that I'm going to be using this one from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. So just as usual I'm applying that to the highest point of my cheekbones as well as a little above my brows and down the bridge of my nose. Onto the lips now, I'm firstly going to line them with this lip liner from Rimmel. This is their Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Tiramisu. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna take this one from Maybelline. This is part of their Color Sensational range in the shade Honey Beige. And it is a really beautiful nude lipstick shade, which you guys know that I'm all about. I like how that looks, but I wanna add a little something to the center of my lips. So I have this lipstick here from Rimmel. This is one of their lasting finish lipsticks. As you can see, this one is pretty well loved. This is in the shade number 26 and it is a very light, pale nude. So what I like to use this for is just to dab it on the center of my lips. And in doing so, this really helps to give you that more full party lip type of look. To finish up, I'm just going to go ahead and spritz my face with some more of that multitasking spray from NYX and then that is the look complete. So there we have you guys, that is the makeup look complete, a full face using drugstore products only. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like it before you leave it if you're still here at the end of watching. Please consider subscribing by clicking the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I'm going to have a full list of all the products that I used in this video in a list in the description box as well as all of the links to my social media accounts if you guys want to keep up with me on any of those. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having an awesome week. I hope you're staying safe, looking after yourselves and looking out for each other. With that being said, I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Just stay off. Can we really pick your schedule? Me what's like